For me, this is one of the most exciting uh, concerts of the season, not only because it includes one of the most famous pieces of all Baroque music, uh, music that's been recorded numerous, numerous times, used in countless films on a phenomenal amount of commercials. I couldn't even begin to think of the number of times I've heard Vivaldi's Four Seasons in uh, uh, little snippets used uh, on television and in film. But this is not just about the Four Seasons. This is about our new concertmaster, uh, Aizen Noski. She is an electrifying violinist. You've already witnessed her once or twice uh, as concertmaster of Handel and Haydn and I've had many, many comments from audience, me audience members saying what a revelation she is and how she is just inspiring, not only to watch but to listen to. So this is going to be a, a very special occasion. This is a very special piece for Aislinn herself. She's performed it many times. She has many, many ideas about it. Um, every violinist, uh, top violinist in the world has their um, own way of presenting Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Um, Aizen, when I spoke to her, because I suggested maybe we should divide the Four Seasons up, and she said, well, actually, I really do think of these as a, as, as a sequence, and, and she has various links. The interesting thing is going to be the links between movements that she's developed. Also in this program, we've, we've sort of given this program um, an Italian theme. Um, it's got works by Corelli. It's also got works by Handel. Uh, two overtures to uh, operas, Agrippina and Rinaldo. Uh, both these operas he wrote during his uh, sojourn in, in Italy as, as a youth. The interesting thing with Handel, of course, that uh, there are one or two pieces from those years in, uh, in, in Italy when a certain well-known composer led the violins, that composer was Corelli. So it's a wonderful thing to have not only uh, Handel but Corelli in this concert. And of course also Gimignani who um, learnt a lot and, and indeed uh, reused much of what Corelli uh, wrote. And that is again one of the great beauties of rock music. It's not about just seeing the solo artist up there uh, and the centre of attention on him or her. It's about seeing the orchestra as a unit really living this music, dancing it, feeling the, the, the emotion, the feeling the sadness, feeling the brutality of some of this music and really coming to life in all sorts of ways.